Hey everyone, and in this video, we'll be start working on our own Kiwi project. And what these projects we'll be making is a calculator app. So this will cover pretty much everything we have done in the previous uh, Kiwi tutorials in this tutorial series. And if you don't know what Kiwi is, then do follow along with this Python mobile app series because this will guide you on how to make mobile apps in Python. And then once we after we've done this, we'll be compiling our Kiwi app into an Android app in the next video. So without further ado, let's get started. So now here you need to open a text file for me. I I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use any text that you want, but then I'm I want to use Visual Studio Code for this tutorial. Now I have a new Python file. Mine is called main.py. Now let's actually import Kiwi and everything we need to import see, from Kiwi dot app import app from kv to uix to box layout import box layout from kv to uix to button import button from kv to uix to text input import text input so these are all the imports we need to handle for our project now we can close the sidebar since we don't need it now now we just need to create our app class which is the main entry point of our app Type in class main app and that can inherit from app now we need our build method and this is the main uh, method inside our app class Type in def build self and here we can just just return zero now this is just some boilerplate code which you write at each start of every video. Now we need to actually run it using an if name is equal main block. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Let me say app equals main app. The app dot run. So we need to hand what we need to handle for this if name is equal to main block. Now let's actually run. This script and now we just want to say Python let's just look for main.py and of course it's showing nothing because we haven't actually returned anything now we want to return our calculator layout which we will need now for this you need some app icons for this as you can see here we have some icons so have the calculator PNG which is the main icon of course here it's not visible but i will show you oh and there it is it is showing now and this is the app icon now we have calculator special png and this is what we'll use when we're uh, compiling it for android now this will be the sort of like loading screen while this will be the icon of our app now make sure to place in the same folder where you're working with your python project just let me just show you so mine is in a folder called Kiwi Calculator Tutorial. I have this with main.py, which is our main Python file. So this is what we use when we are turning it for an Android app. So we can close this for now since we well, we are not going to be using it. Now here instead of returning zero, we can now start working with our calculator. I'll just want to say self to operators, which you want this to be a list. Now we just want to see slash, this stands for division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And this is what all the operators which our calculator will support. Now we just want to see self, last, was, operator, equals none. Because we want this to be nothing. By the way, if you are finding this tutorial quite useful, then a like would be appreciated. It does really help me out. And please do subscribe now. And hit that bell so in some future videos. Now we just want to say self dot last last button. And we want this to be none. Because we want this to be nothing. Now let's actually start making our main layout. I would just want to say main layout. Which this is meant to be the main layout for our calculator. And this would be equal to box layout. And here we want to have an orientation. And we can set that to vertical since we want it to be vertical aligned. Now here we need to create our text input. So just type in self 
dot solution equals that would be of type text input. Now we just want to say background color. Now this is a cool tip. This is a cool trick you can use for your text inputs in Kiwi. So I can even set a background color. And we want this to be black. And we want to have a foreground color. And here we just want to set that white. And now we just want to say multi line. I'll set that to false because we don't want to be able to scroll through this. See line equals right. I want to have a font size of 55 and read only. We can set this to true. You can set this to false if you want, but then just follow on what I do. Oh, let's remove this. And now we need to add our text input to our main layout. So we just say call main layout to add widget. And now we just want to say software solution. And this is what we need to add to our box layout. Now we need to handle our buttons. We just see buttons. This will be a list. Now we're going to see seven, eight, nine. And here we want to have a slash, which stands for division. Say four, five, six. This has to be six, sorry. And we want to have a star. I would just want to say um one, two, say two, and three with addition. And now for the final buttons. And here we just want to have dot for decimal numbers zero c to clear out the calculator of course for most calculators you just see a c but then we want this to be c for this calculator and now we will just want to see dash okay so this is all the buttons we need because so these are all the buttons we need to handle for our buttons so this so this button is a list of buttons inside now say um we need to create a for loop for these buttons so we just want to say four row in buttons and now uh, here just want to say h layout equals box layout so here we're creating another layout for this uh for this sort of like for loop for the row in each button and now here we just want to say um four label in row because this is another for loop we are going to be using now just want to say button equals button and here we just want to say text equals label say font size I don't have a font size of 30 for our buttons say back ground color equals gray because we want the, the uh, background for the background color for each button we want them to be gray now here we just want to say a pause hint which is the position hint and here this will be a dictionary, so just add your curly braces, the center, x, 0.5, and we'll photo have center, center, y, which is 0.5 again. So this is the logic we need to handle here. Now here we just want to say, um, here we can just say button dot bind. So once this uh, button is clicked, we want things to happen. Say on press yourself to on button press. Now we actually need to define this function because we don't actually have it. So the um the first things we need to do is just type in def on button press. This can yourself and the instance. This can pass. Of course, now just want to say def on solution for um, some of the buttons. This is self, and we want to include the instance. And again, this can also pass. We can now continue with the with um, with our functionality for for our buttons. Now, now here we just want to say each layout to add widget and now just want to have a button 
So basically what we're doing here is we're creating a button. So I'd like to store this button in a variable called button. Now we're calling button bind and this actually tells our KV program that we want things to happen when that button is pressed. Now we're adding this to our box layer which is H layout we have created here. Now we also need to add this to our main we need to add this other box layout to our main box layout. Say main layout dot add widget. And here we just want to say H layout. Now this is what we need to handle for this for loop. Now we just want to create an equal button which we want um, that button. So once the button is pressed, we want the answer to appear. So say equal button equals button. Let's just include this. Let's include this. See text equals. We want this to be an equal sign. Font size equals. Um, let's just set this to thirty. Say um background color and want to set that to gray and now we want to have a position hint say pause hint we want this to be a dictionary say center x 0.5 and center y which again is 0.5 as well now we also need to uh, call equal button dot bind say on press equals the self to own solution and make sure not to add the brackets because because we're not going to call it in here this is just a command for our button otherwise without the brackets python we think we're calling this function inside this bind function now we are just going to say um say main layout dot add widget I want to include the equal button, which is the widget of our button. Otherwise, we just want to return our main layout because we are done with the logic for our build method. Now, let's go inside these other methods, which is on button press, and also we have on solution. So, let's go to on button press. We can remove this pass for now. We can remove that placeholder. Now, let's now let's start coding up this function. Say current equals self dot solution dot text, which is the text in our text entry. Now say button dot text underscore text equals instance dot text. All right, and now say if button text is equal to C, which is our clear button which we created earlier. Say self solution dot text and this won't be this to be an empty display once the button is clicked say else let's say if current and we want to create a tuple and say just say a uh, self dot last was operator and button text in self operators and now here I'd like to uh, put this here so it will be there we don't want that we don't want to have a mess in our program so just say return since we want to return nothing because we don't we don't want this to add because we don't want to add two operators at once say so lf current um is equal to an empty display and button text in self operators now we just want to say return and otherwise we just want to say else and here we just want to say new text so this has to be a variable in lowercase equals current plus button text and now just want to say self solution the text and we want that to be the new text okay and now let's now let's go out of this else statement and now just want to say self dot last button equals the button text. And now here we just want to say self last was operator equals self dot last button in self dot operators. And this is all the logic we needed to handle for the on button press. 
So this is what we needed to handle. Now let's go inside one solution. Let's remove this placeholder. The text for self to solution. The text. So this has to be text, not txt. And I'll say if text. And say solution. If text. I just want to say solution. Equals str, which will need to be a string. So eval. Now eval is a built-in function in Python. Now this is dangerous for most of your programs because most Python developers want to most Python developers may want to avoid using this. But then since we're only allowing numbers, we should use this because it is safe when we're not, when we're only allowing numbers. Now I'll just see self solution to text. Alright, and now just want to see self dot solution dot text equals the solution variable we have just declared and this has to be all the logic we need for our calculator now let's actually now let's try running our calculator to see what happens we can clear this out and now oh i forgot to save this we can save and now we can we can now call this oh we get an error what does it say say list indices must be integers or slices now let's see what's wrong in our program oh i forgot to add a comma we can add that and now let's go back to our terminal and we can call main.py to run and there we have a full stack calculator we can solve anything we want we just say 88 plus one and it's going to give us a our response so guys, this is pretty much it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial quite useful, then a like would be appreciated. It does really help me out in my tutorials. And please do subscribe now and hit the bell to miss some future videos. Um, in our next video, we'll be compiling our entire Kifi app into an Android app. So make sure you don't. So make sure you do subscribe so you miss on that. So if you have any questions or comments about Kivi or anything else, then just leave them down in the comment section down below. I will reply to your comment, and otherwise, that's it for today, cheers and goodbye.